Ah, Russian Baptist pro Putin. In one of my previous videos, I talked about the Russian Baptist Church that was almost destroyed and then re-established by Stalin in 1944. In the 1960s, obedience to the state and enforcing the largely anti-Christian legislation led to the split of the Russian Baptist Church. A significant part of it went underground and still has not restored fellowship with the loyal majority. Throughout the last decades of the Soviet Union, the registered Baptist Church faced fewer discrimination, oppression and persecution than many other religious communities. In the new Russia, most of the hostility towards Baptists comes from their neighbors or radical Orthodox groups, who ignorantly see the Church with a 150-year history in Russia as an agent of Western influence. The state, however, either neglected their mere existence or formally cooperated when it has not interfered with the interests of the dominant Orthodox Church. So what is going on with the Baptist Church now, when there is a raging censorship, enforced police state and military mobilization in Russia? Unlike some of the marginalized religious communities facing various degrees of persecutions, Russian Baptists are pretty much tolerated by the state and the dominant Orthodox Church. As long as they do not break any rules and regulations, they are free to worship in their communities. However, you might remember that since 2016, Russian legislature significantly restricted evangelism and missionary activities. Missionaries are now required to have permits and they can no longer evangelize on the streets and in people's homes, although this is one of the major ways of winning souls for Christ for evangelicals. There are two important factors, very much specific to Russia and the post-Soviet space. First, since the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russian evangelicals have converted most people not on the streets or knocking on the doors, but in prisons, drug rehabs and soup kitchens for homeless. Second, most importantly for my video today, Russian Baptists obey. The registered Baptists follow all the restrictions that the state puts on them directly or indirectly. Naturally, the church leaders justify their obedience with the Bible verses about state leaders and masters, but is it a purely theological stance? Let us look at the position of the Baptist Church on the war in Ukraine. When the war started, the church leadership issued several proclamations and open letters to Putin, Zelensky and other world leaders. They called for peace, for the ceasefire, for resolving the conflict with negotiations and the immediate help to the civilians and refugees. Since then, the church position transformed from a Christian neutrality to a vague support of Putin. The leaders issued several more letters in which they prayed for Putin's wisdom, health and God's guidance in his life. One of the letters condemned the religious policy in Ukraine banning the Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate. This letter also referred to eight years of discrimination in Donbass region, which is one of the major narratives of Putin's propaganda. As for the mobilization in September, the church met it with another call for prayer and trust in the Lord. To be fair, this vague and sometimes pro-Putin rhetoric mostly belongs to the leaders of the church. The local communities and lay people do what they can to help civilians, mostly Ukrainian refugees, to Russia. Naturally, most of their support goes to fellow believers. However, Baptists organize hot meals and support for all refugees they can reach in border regions, shelters and train stations. Please like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I see you all next time.